All right, hey everybody. I want to give you a couple uh, tips about buying a used bike on eBay. So if you're planning on making an eBay purchase, uh, give me five minutes. Um, I have experience in uh, buying a good bike and buying a bad bike. I'll tell that story after the tip, so. So uh, the first thing you want to do is uh, thoroughly research uh, the price of the bike, what they're going for used, and uh, don't just look at uh, dealers. Um, there's a couple websites, and you could go and look at the average price of uh, a used bike. Uh, second, when it comes to the auction, uh, it's really hard to tell in the beginning. Uh, a lot of people don't bid until there's literally seconds remaining. Uh, I'll tell you in a few minutes uh, my strategy. I don't know if it works. Uh, it got me this beautiful bike. Um, but when you're looking at the ad, the first thing you want to do is make sure you read through everything uh, listed under the item. Um, then make sure you go into the description, read through the description, uh, pour through the pictures, and uh, when it comes to pictures, um, you can message the seller, and uh, they're trying to sell their bike, so they should accommodate you. Um, say, I, I want a closer picture of the right front fairing and uh, the chain. Uh, uh, signs of uh, a worn out chain um, can be a, a good sign of a badly maintained bike. Um, I have, uh, when I sold bikes on eBay, I have uh, took a video of it running and put it on eBay, or put it on YouTube. Now, you could uh, ask the person to send you a, a video of the bike running, see if it's smoking. Um, the last bike I bought, I asked the guy so many questions, um, I figured he was getting sick of me. But he was trying to sell his bike, and he ended up, uh, at, at the beginning, you know, his first replies were four words, five words. And then after he realized I must be pretty serious, uh, he started getting a little more in depth. And I got a little bit better of a feeling for the guy. Uh, you know, I ended up meeting him. Um, so, lots of questions. Uh, it doesn't hurt. And uh, if you feel like you're bothering the guy, well, you know what? And maybe he doesn't want to sell his bike that bad. Uh, now, try and, uh, if possible, if you're close, try and go and see the bike. You really don't want to buy a bike you haven't looked over. I've done it and that was my uh, worst decision. Um, I got I bought a bike without uh, inspecting it and uh, I'll tell you about that a little bit later. Now, if uh, a brand new bike, of course, and it supplies. Uh, one of the things you can do and uh, if you're not able to get uh, to the bike, say it's uh, two states over, you could spend $100 and have somebody go and inspect the bike. Um, and if you're serious, that $100 could save you. Um, um, I, I've lost uh, about $1,000 on a bike before. If I would have spent that $100, I never would have bought it in the first place. Yeah, well, that was the first bike I bought on eBay, and, and I really didn't know what I was doing, and I was way too trusting, and I didn't do any of the things I'm mentioning right now. So, uh, lots of questions, inspection. Um, as far as the bidding, uh, I usually try and uh, wait until there's 15 seconds, 10 seconds, where, uh, uh, you know, I'll, I'll come up with my max price. Uh, for example, this bike, my max price was $7,000. So, with about uh, five seconds to go, I put the uh, 5000 in, and uh, I don't think it really gave anybody 
uh, time to go in and bid after. Now, if their if their max bid was higher than mine, they would have got the bike. But I had set a limit for myself. I wasn't going to spend more than seven thousand, even though I really wanted it. Um, so if somebody had bid seventy one hundred, I wouldn't have got the bike. You know, I really did not want to get into a bidding war, and and that's how prices could get out of control. You know, um, so a couple seconds left in the auction. I did my max bid. That's it. You know, it takes willpower because you, you see something and you like it and you really want it, but you, you don't want to go crazy. I mean, it seems like uh, uh, you might not see a certain bike or a certain model, and you might not see them for, for weeks, uh, and, and you think, oh man, I better get this one. I might not see another one for a while, and then 10 of them could pop up, you know? So uh, be patient. Um, and, uh, and that's about it. Yeah. Uh, good luck. Uh, do me a favor. Please like and subscribe. And send me a message. Tell me you subscribed. I'll write back. You know, I'll uh, ask me anything you want. Um, if you want to know anything about this Z900, I'll, I'll be happy to tell you. Uh, and now I'm going to tell you a little bit about my uh, good and bad stories. Um, first bike I bought off of eBay. I was in pretty bad health, and um, I was getting a little bit better, and I really wanted to get out, and I wanted to ride. I wasn't even sure if I could. So I wasn't going to spend a lot of money on a bike, and I went the cruiser route. I bought a, uh, a Harley Sportster with really low mileage, because I'm not that great of a mechanic. I try, but I'm just not that good. So I didn't want to have a lot of work. Um, the guy who sold the bike wasn't 100% honest about it. Now, it he had a professional photographer do the pictures. It looked incredible. I never went and saw it before I bought it. And it was only two hours away. But I never went. <laughs> Which turned out to be a big mistake. Because... Uh, um, it looked incredible in the photos, and uh, you get up close, and there was a little... It looked like he painted the uh, gas tank with a rattle can. There was uh, uh, overspray, and there ended up being a lot of things wrong with the bike. Um, most of it little. I mean, the engine ran like a champ, and I went out and put it around in the farm roads. Uh, I was never able to get it uh, inspected just because of the way he had made the bike. He, he, there was no uh, front fender, there was no turn signals, there was a brake light, thank God. Um, so I just rode around like that, you know, I, I just wanted to get out. But um, I'm now selling that bike on eBay. The difference is I listed every little problem with the bike. And uh, he's going to, uh, whoever buys it, he or she, um, they're going to know exactly how much money they have to spend. And uh, they could. They could spend a couple dollars. It won't take that much. Um, but, yeah, that's it. That was, that was my uh, bad eBay purchase. Um, this bike, this was my good eBay purchase. Now, I asked a million questions. Uh, I talked to the owner. Um, he had uh, bought the extended warranty for it. He was a little bit older of a guy. It, the bike was spotless, uh, not a scratch on it. So you, you got a really good feeling about it, you know? Um, and he really did take care of it. I got it for a great price. And uh, I was prepared to go buy a brand new one. And I bought this one with 1,400 miles on it. And it saved me almost exactly $3,000, which will pay for everything I want to do to the bike, um, hopefully. Uh, depends how carried away I get. Well, that's about it. And uh, thanks for listening, and I hope it helps. And if you're buying a bike on eBay, uh, hit me up and tell me how it went. 
All right, see you later, it's broken.